Hello everybody, it is I just Rengar here, and today I am coming at you with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be going over builds for Rengar, I'm also going to really quickly touch on uh, runes. So, uh, what I've been using mostly lately, uh, I've been swapping between Dark Harvest and Electrocute, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Relentless Hunter. Um, you can also sometimes swap Eyeball Collection for Zombie Ward, depends on what you feel like, uh, what you think would be best. Um, and then I go Transcendence and Scorch and Sorcery. That's just because Sorcery, uh, the Scorch is going to give you a lot of extra damage, and the Transcendence is also going to give you uh, extra damage once you hit level um, 10 at least. Um, it'll also give you that CDR, which is going to be really, really strong. It is a little bit of a uh, delayed rune, though. That's why I take the Scorch to balance it out, because I used to go like a Gathering Storm Transcendence or Gathering Storm Adaptive Power, but they both kind of scale, whereas Transcendence scales Scorch's early game, so, I mean, it still works late game, but it's not as good late game. So, if you take those two together, they kind of balance out. Um, and if you wanted to, I feel like uh, when you should when you go for the uh, Dark Harvest, you can actually swap out Transcendence or something else. Unless you want like to go like full, uh, full late game. Because then you could swap uh, Transcendence, Gathering Storm, uh, Dark Harvest. Uh, but right now, the games are kind of short, so that's why I'm kind of running this mostly. Uh, for Top Rengar, I'll like shoot Sudden Impact, Zombie Ward, Relentless Hunter. Uh, then I take Precision for Triumph and Coup de Gras. I do that, that way you can get those outplays top lane. Um, it's just a lot easier to be able to take people out. Um, and, yeah, I mean, just generally, the Precision tree is really, really good for, um, like, let's say you get 1v2 top, you get a kill, boom, you get, like, 50 to 100 HP back, depending. Um, plus that extra 25 gold is clean, especially if you're, like, hard winning the game. Uh, and then obviously coup de gras that's gonna help you get that secure on the kill which is gonna be really 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 good uh, and then finally um, what I've been running is electrocute or dark harvest remember these can kind of swap out for dark harvest except for top top I run electrocute I don't run airy uh, I know somebody's gonna say that I don't run airy because electrocute works better with Rengar's style in the late game if you're going bruiser Rengar however or tank Rengar airy would probably be better um, or maybe even Grasp. I've seen some people running Grasp, uh, most notably Dekar. Uh, so if you want to run one of those, if you're going Tank or Bruiser Rengar, yes. Electrocute works better because it deals more damage than Aerie uh, in one burst, whereas Aerie is going to be more damage over time oriented. So that's kind of my reasoning. Finally, uh, this one's more of a jungle page, um, and I do this whenever I'm going to be doing the level 4 at um, 3 minutes clear. Electrocute, Sudden Impact, Zombie Ward, Relentless Hunter. You can also swap out Zombie Ward for uh, Eyeball Collection, as I've said before. And then Inspiration, Cosmic Insight, Hextech, Flash, tra uh, Flash Traption. I take the Hextech, Flash Traption, that way you can um, kind of make more plays, uh, because this kind of is more of a ganky uh, style. Uh, and I take Cosmic Insight, just because Cosmic Insight is actually uh, pretty good for doing the level three at f uh, level four at three minutes I always mix that up that'd be so bad yeah I got level three at four minutes guys great plan um, but I really like uh, going for the uh, cosmic insight because that five percent off of smite is gonna allow you to smite the red buff really easily uh, when you're finishing up that clear get that extra bit of health rather than having to kind of wait around a second before you can smite it now to go back into the items Right here, starting items, it depends on if you're going top or uh, if you're going jungle. So let's just say for this that you're going jungle, I like to go Hunter's Machete, Health Potion, um, and then none of these things. I just have these here. These are the, just the consumables. I just have these here, that way it's easier to remember them since they're the very first thing. Um, and that's just a tactic that I use, that way I remember. The same thing with this being here. Um, it doesn't mean that I exclusively buy it on my first back, but having it near the top means that you'll look at it more often. Um, and then Serrated Dirks, having those available instantly, so you can just right-click on them, always going to be really good. Remember, you can buy with just right-clicking. I've seen a couple people not doing that, and you just you literally just have to right-click, and then it's bought. That's all it really takes. Um, control Wards, buy as many as you can. Um, I sometimes fail at that, which is why I'm kind of reminding myself with this. Core Items. And you can get away with only building uh, Dustblade and then one of these, depending on how the game is going, or even swapping the uh, these two out uh, altogether. But since you're going Assassin Rengar, most likely, uh, Dustblade, Yomu's, Edge of Night, really, really good. If they have somebody that's going to screw up your engage uh, really easily, like, if, like let's say they have a Janna and a Varus that have been on point, then you can go Dustblade into an Edge of Night, um, and that's kind of the ideal. That's also why I go for the um, Serrated Dirk, by the way, because if you go Serrated Dirk, then you can uh, change it into a um, 
Edge of Night if you find that you're going to need it. Whereas if you go for the Caulfield's Warhammer, you're locked into the Gyomu's Ghost Blade. For boot options, which you don't always have to buy, uh, there's a lot of games where I don't actually buy boots at all. <laughs> Just because it kind of delays your damage and Relentless Hunter gives you move speed. Um, as well as uh, if you get Cloud Dragons, um, those are also going to give you some move speed. So, oh, also... Yoma's Ghost Blade, 40 move speed out of combat. When you're in combat, it's going to grant you 20% move speed for 6 seconds. Assassin Rengar shouldn't really be fighting for more than 6 seconds, guys. So you will you should try to be able to get in and then get out within those 6 seconds. If you're still fighting, it's because they're chasing you down. Which means you're not going to need the move speed anyways. Um, that's why I'll kind of skip boots. But if you need the defensive stats and the uh, little bit of move speed, you can go for uh, the Tab Eyes or the Merc Treads. Uh, but if you're going to need more, uh, let's say you need mobility, you can go mobility boots, and then sometimes you can go Ionian boots of lucidity as well. Now, these are the situa situational items that I've been kind of talking about. Because um, I know I've been responding vaguely to you guys and being like, well, you know, you can build any of these items. So, typically, my build would look like uh, going Black Cleaver GA or Black Cleaver Last Whisper um, or La uh, Last Whisper GA something like that but you can build more items you can actually finish your uh jungle item because it's going to be a little bit cheaper you're already going to have lethality and you're going to have armor pen for one from one of these and this is going to be your last item by the way um so this is going to enable you to quickly build because you're already going to have 35 uh or 350 not 3500 350 gold down and so basically what ends up happening is when you actually um are going to buy this it's going to be 350 gold cheaper just because you already have the um, hunter's machete uh, so that's why that's there so guardians angel black cleaver typically these are going to be situational um, and let me kind of explain what I go into to determine whether you want to build these or not so let's say that they're uh, let's say there's a team they're not really building too much armor um, and they have ADs that are doing okay and they have uh, APs that are doing okay. So there's nothing really of note. I would go Black Cleaver because Black Cleaver, it doesn't really rely on them having armor. It can shred through non-armor as well. Um, it's not going to be like Last Whisper where it's only bonus armor. So in that case, you can go for a Black Cleaver. Now, if you look at the Guardian's Angel, if they have like fed ADs, they're an all AD team, or uh, just their APs aren't doing well at all, I would go for a GA instead if they're not building that much armor. Just because the GA also, it has nothing to do with armor pen. So where this one only had to do with, uh, like, it had to do with regular armor as well. This one is like, oh, okay, so they're not really building much armor. They're building next to none. Um, I can go for GA here because it's safer. The reason that you'd go this if you were versus the AP and the AD, though, is just the 400 HP is huge, plus the CDR and the AD. Uh, it takes your assassin build into more of a tanky build. Um, now, also, like I was saying, Last Whispers... 35% bonus armor penetration. So let's say that uh, the enemy builds, let's say they have a vein and she builds GA and she builds the uh, tabbies. So that's going to be a total of 60 armor, right? So 30 armor, 30 armor. And then she's going to have 60 armor off of Mortal Reminder, or er, 35% of that taken off from Mortal Reminder, okay? So if you want to look and then see how much that is, basically, as we were saying, so you have the uh, last whisper here. So Last Whisper, it's going to negate 0.35% of armor. So 0.35 times 60. Buying a Last Whisper is going to give you effectively 21 Lethality. It's also going to give you 10 AD. And that's literally going to be in a 1300 gold item. Serrated Dirk itself is going to give you 25 uh, AD, 12 Lethality. And keep in mind, the Lethality scales via game length. So, like, let's say that it's like... 15 minutes into the game, it's not going to give you a full 12 armor pen. But here, this is giving you 21 full armor penetration. And again, if the, um, let's say it's a mid laner, they built Zonias. So if they built Zonias, that's 45 plus the 30 that um, Tabby's is. Times that, oh, whoa, no, don't divide. Times that by 0. Uh, 0.35 equals. That's going to be 26. So even more, that's why Last Whisper can be really, really, really effective. Um, and then the final 1300 that you spend, to get this active, it's also going to um, do a double purpose because it's going to give you uh, a gold efficient 40 uh, attack damage because uh, BF Sword is the same exact cost. And it's going to give you either the Grievous Wounds passive or the um, LDR passive. Typically, I'll go with the Mortal Reminder uh, just because ADC's heal, um, ADC's supports typically can heal. Uh, so that's why I like to go for that. So 
to go a little bit more in depth on things that you should build. So that explains these items a little bit. Uh, now let's get into these. So, Infinity Edge, you build this if you're really ahead, or if you really need to one-shot somebody and they're typically going to be out of position, or if they're building no armor. If they're not building any armor, you can skip these items altogether, this, this, and this. Buy this. This is actually going to be so good for you. Um, just because this is only good if they're not really building armor. Um, or you could build like a Last Whisper and then build this. Um, but you can go IE. IE can be really good. Now, next, Spirit Visage. Spirit Visage is a really good uh, item for Rengar just because that increases all healing received by 30%. That's huge. Um, so make sure that you're trying to get that. Uh, and then, again, we already talked about Warrior and why you should build that. This is very, very niche, so you don't really need to build this very often. But let's say they have, like, a Malzahar that's been ulting you as soon as you jump in. QSS into Merxium can be worth it. I know that you have your Empowered W, but if you're getting ulted by a Malzahar the second you go into a fight before you can get your, uh, five, or four Ferocity stacks, I still messed it up, did the rework, I'm lucky. <laughs> um, before you can get your four stacks, then it's going to be very, very good that you have a QSS, because you can QSS, run away, get your stacks back up, uh, maybe jump back in, uh, especially if it's late game where you only have 42 second cooldown on your ulti, um, then you can just go back in for that. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot. Actually, you know what? Let's go to my profile. Um, really quickly check our match history, boys. Um, so, match history. Not too good, not too bad. <laughs> this game was uh, all my fault. So, 12, 8, and 11. Uh, so, let's look at my build for this game. So, I went Yomu's. I went, I mean, Deathblade, Yomu's, uh, Edge of Night, into a Mortal Reminder, into Kindle Gem. Now, let's see why I went this. So, first I was just building all this lethality. Which was good because um, Lethality early game is really, really strong. Um, and since Jin only built one armor item, and since uh, the Vladimir only built one armor item, and those are my two targets typically, um, and since uh, initially J4 only had built one ar armor item, I went just for Lethality because the Last Whisper wouldn't do as much as the Lethality would versus just the 30 armor. So because of that, I was like, okay... I'm just going to run with this, uh, just go with the Lethality first. Then, I looked at it again and I said, oh, okay, so what should I build now? Honestly, looking at it again, objectively, I probably should have built Black Cleaver before I built um, Mortal Reminder. But, the reason that I built Mortal Reminder here, by the way, I never bought boots this entire game. The reason that I bought Mortal Reminder here is because the um, 1300 gold spike from uh, Last Whisper is a lot better than the 1250 gold spike from Phage. Because uh, Phage is only going to give you that move seed passive, and it's going to give you 200 HP, or 150 HP, and um, 15 AD. The Last Whisper, which is only 50 gold more, is going to give you 10 AD, so 5 less. But it's going to give you practically, like, uh, 10 Lethality versus this target, uh, 13 Lethality versus the uh, Vladimir, um, a lot of Lethality versus uh, Leona, Darius, and the Jarvan. And so that's why I built that there. That's just because it was more convenient at the time to go for the Last Whisper first. Um, plus, I think that we were going to go into a big fight. So I wanted to buy the Last Whisper to get that bigger spike to win. Also, buy Elixir of Wrath before you go into big fights. Um, that's definitely going to be a plus for you. Hope that you enjoyed this video. By the way, I am going to be doing an AMA for my 5,000 subscribers special. I know I haven't hit 5K subs yet, but at the rate we're growing, we probably will pretty soon. Um, I hope if you guys keep liking my videos and I keep producing quality content. Uh, which I always want to do, so always leave me a comment. But if you tag your comment with AMA, like AMA, colon, space, type, 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 boom, 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 and then just say whatever your question is. It can pertain to real life, pertain to league, pertain to anything. I won't answer it then. I'll just say that I marked it down. I'll write, like, marked or something with a, a smiley face or even a winky face if you're lucky. Wink. Um, you can't see me wink. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm so cringe. Um, but, yeah, hopefully you do enjoy that. Um... And hopefully you will leave something for me to answer in my AMA. So thank you all very, very much for watching this video. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and good luck in Solo Queue, everybody.